Hi, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. This will be a quickie, uh, quickie intro, and then I'm going to play a bunch of um, pre-recorded conversations I had with uh, ongoing investigation with the New York City Commission on Human Rights. If you recall, I did a video uh, calling out their commissioner uh, for what appears to be a series of uh, anti-white um, uh, advertisements. Uh, all of the all of the discriminators were white, and all of the victims were non-white. So, um, you know, so I had a conversation. I, I had right around that time, actually, a little before, I filed a. Um, I put in a. I, I reached out to them. You know, I put out. I put a complaint. I filed a complaint online and uh, got a little got a complaint number. You know, got a number, and. Um, someone is supposed to respond in like 14 days and like three weeks later, uh, I get a, I get an email. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to get in touch with you. So, um, so they did. So I, I eventually got a, uh, f I pushed them a little bit online and I, f I got a phone call from someone and, uh, you'll hear, you'll, I never really got through to the person, um, that I was supposed to get through to. And I stepped it up to a supervisor. His name is, um. Uh, Carlos, Carlo, <laughs> what the hell's his name? You'll hear it, Carlos, Carlos v v Vegas, <laughs> whatever. But again, this is um, New York City Commission of Human Rights. They're at 22 Reed Street. This is a governing agency in the city of New York. And uh, again, I didn't call to file a complaint. I know the rules, you know, election of remedies and all that. But I, what I did was they have an enforcement branch of what they do and you would think I don't know I would think that if 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 someone's presenting hard facts of, of racism and discrimination and retaliation and and uh, public corruption that that you would be interested you'd be interested in you know you would have read the certainly have read the case before you reach out to me right I sent you the case I sent you all the documents I sent you all the all the evidence you need to see, and and then when you reach out to me, you would be informed, right? I mean, that's why you're reaching out to me, right? What are you reaching out to me? Tell me, uh, we can't help you. Is that what you're reaching out to me? So anyway, here's uh, here's there'll be there's going to be a sequence of uh, three calls. You'll hear the uh, me reaching out first to the to the to the person that reached out to me, and then I bump it up to a supervisor, and then. I'm able to get the supervisor finally on the phone. You'll see how that conversation went. So, and I don't know what the outcome of it is, but I, I can tell you that I just want people to see the example of the red tape um, that someone has to go through in, in a case like this. That there really is there really is there really a uh, an avenue for regular people to to seek reverence of grievance? Or is it all just a rabbit hole? You know, like you can't really... There is, you know, you have to turn yourself into a lawyer and a, and a, and a YouTube researcher and a, you know, and, a, and, and, a, and you have to follow them around for two, three years just to get your voice heard. This is outrageous, people. It's outrageous. It's got to stop. You know, it's got to stop. So... That's my, this is, this will be ongoing, but, uh, it's up to you, you know, you'll listen to the conversation that I had with the uh, guy and, uh, and, uh, enjoy. Peace. Sorry, Elizabeth Quinn is not available. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound yeah, for more message. options. Hi, good morning. It's, uh, 9.40 a.m. on a Monday. Calling once again for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, this is Marcus Conti, Conti Veris DSNY, 347-733-4780, reaching out to you, who's reaching out to me, who's reaching out to you again, playing phone tag. Kindly give me a uh, call back. I, As I said, I don't always have my telephone on, so I need to know uh, basically when you're going to give me a call. And uh, we can pick it up. Very interested in uh, speaking with you. Very interested in any help uh, you can offer me uh, with this case. Thank you so much for your time.
When in doubt, call the supervisor. Hi, you've reached Carlos Sola of the New York City Commission on Human Rights. I'm not available to answer the phone, but please leave your name and number, and I will call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Record your message at the tower. When you're finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, a uh, message for uh, Carlo Valez. Uh, left several messages um, already for Elizabeth. Uh, I'm not getting her last name correct, but um, I, I haven't gotten an answer. <laughs> I haven't been able to connect with you guys at all. I've been playing phone tag for an email tag for like a month now, and uh, I really would appreciate a call back from uh, from your commission. Haven't heard from you. Right, pretty good, pretty good. Thank you. You said you're trying to reach Elizabeth. You didn't leave the last name. Uh, Elizabeth, I think it's it's hard to understand. Cleve, or I don't know. The number is uh, 04, I don't know. I don't know. Elizabeth Cleve. If you don't know, I don't know. They claim they uh, said. I, there's nobody here by that name, so I don't know. So if you're telling me it's Elizabeth Cleve, there's nobody here by that name. Well, if you dial four one six zero two four five, that's the person you get. I get panned to her uh, email uh, th three times a day. So you dial it, and you dial it, and that's the name. <laughs> so, so you have a case here with us? No, I, I don't have a case with you. I I made a I filed a complaint. And um, are you are you what? filed a complaint with New York's State Division of Human Rights? I lost in court, and I'm reaching okay. out to you guys. Are you are you an investigator or who are you? You're I'm an, an attorney? attorney. You're an attorney. All right. So if you filed a complaint with the Division on Human Rights, you can't file it here, whether it was dismissed or resolved or whether you withdrew it. Okay, so. So I'm making, here's why I'm reaching out to you, okay? Let me uh, see if you can help, okay? I, um, so I, I filed, so I work for the city, right? And then I, yep. I, I, I got fired, right? <laughs> you know? Right. You know how that goes, right? And, and um, they claim that the, uh, the fake write-ups, they made a bunch of fake write-ups. And, uh, you know, I, I brought them down to an article, Brought a, brought a good Article 78 case against them. First, I started at uh, New York State Division of Human Rights, and uh, you know, uh, an all uh, all uh, African American uh, people of color staff. Uh, and I'm uh, you know over 50 white guy. They threw me under the bus, and uh, couldn't couldn't get anything, couldn't get a a, a, a word in edgewise with the good old New York State Division of Human Rights, and took it down to. Supreme Court, and uh, what happened? What do you think happened? They just went right along with the New York State Division of Human Rights, right? So, so now we're over in uh, the first uh, Department Appellate Division and uh, getting a good old. Uh, can I interrupt you, Mr. Conte? Because I, I could maybe short circuit this. Once you file a case with the Division on Human Rights, you can't file with us. And not only did you file a case, but if I understand you correctly, they issued a final decision, which you disagreed with and which you appealed. So my office cannot be of assistance to you with your case. So the law is called election of remedies. You chose to pursue your case in one form, i.e. the State Division on Human Rights, and they made a final decision. Right. So there's there is so so what you're saying is the the commission the New York City Commission on Human Rights is really just a it's just like a legal kind of commission it's not actually where people can are discriminated against and walk in and yeah and, you, can, you can actually yeah. walk in if you've been yeah. discriminated you got to make an appointment and make a claim but if I understand you correctly you made a complaint against your city employer and you took that complaint to the state division on human rights and the state division right or wrong i'm not making that assumption you know made a final determination so since you chose the form you wanted to pursue your case in we have no authority because the division state division the city commission and the equal employment opportunity commission we all do the same thing you yeah. can't file the same case in three different forms so you chose your I'm not looking, I, 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 you may, may have misunderstood. I'm not calling you to file a claim. I'm calling you 
for for um, support, for, you know, moral support or legal support. Because I'm operating right now pro se. And it just seems that it just seems that the whole system is it, it, you, you, you can't seem to you can't seem to penetrate it, sir. No matter who you call, they give you the same all oh, election of remedies. Uh, you know, you went to the state division, and and then you go to the state division and say, "Oh, you should have went to the local division." And the local division says, "Oh, you know, you should have went to Supreme Court." And it'll give you the runaround. So it, it just it just seems that well, all I'm doing is I did a little background on on what your you know commission is, and I I, I mean I just fundamentally I just fundamentally disagree with it. First of all, I looked okay. at, I looked at, look, I looked at your, I looked at your commissioner. I don't know where we're going to go from here. I don't either, but I, I looked at, you know, I, I looked at the view and I think that, be honest with you, if I was, you know, a, an African American person of color, uh, or some other, some other variety of minority that you identify with, I think that this, I think this conversation would go much differently, but under the circumstances. No, I disagree. 100%. Yeah. I have documented evidence of racism and discrimination and retaliation, but for some reason, the State Division of Human Rights seem to have, you know, the same stance as you, that a 100% minority uh, group of individuals uh, doesn't qualify as, as uh, it's still diverse, <laughs> right? It's still diverse, because no, it's all... We're going nowhere. I, I can't yeah. relitigate case you already lost, and I can't, I give you the legal reasons why. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate your time. You, you're, whatever. I mean, it's just, it's just, um, this is ongoing, for me, ongoing investigation. I don't seem, it doesn't seem that, that um, you know, individuals can actually get through you know, what, what, well, let me let me ask your opinion, okay? This is this is off. You know, I, I don't give opinions. I don't. I work for the city. <laughs> My job is to investigate allegations of discrimination when they bring them here. All right, all right. Even if, but but if, if the person elects the wrong remedy, you don't you don't get involved, right? No, I can't legally. Can't. Got it. What's your what's your your call? Your name is Carlos Carlos Valles Valles. Valles, correct. Mr. Valles, thank you so much for your time. It was, no, a, sir. It was a pleasure. Pleasure speaking with you.